I have a couple concerns to raise. Although I think it's floating around here, we haven't said explicitly who we think this data belongs to. And I think we need to be explicit about that because laws and policies and regulations all kind of proceed out of that. Uh, for example, the World Health Organization said 50 years ago that all health data belongs to consumers. We haven't said that here in the U.S. And then a second concern uh, is the issue of accuracy of data. I think we assume that PHRs are going to spring forward in about a year and we're going to use lots of claims data to populate it. Well, there's a lot of claims data out there that's not fully accurate. We need to build into that process something to adjust that claims data for accuracy. Uh, well, I think I, uh, you've got a lot of things, Ron, that you mentioned, so I'll, I'll, I'll try to speak quickly to, to two of them. One has to do with uh, what you raised around who owns the data. Uh, the fact is that the policies we have in the United States uh, regarding uh, uh, policies and then the policies as they relate to technical standards for interoperability are almost entirely centered on the interests of enterprises, businesses. There are precious few, and it's very, very hard to find them, uh, policies that relate to the interests of consumers. And so there is not a good answer other than these large statements that don't devolve into policy or technical standards. Uh, and so I, right now, the AHIC is, uh, and work groups within HITSPE are engaged in efforts to uh, explicate policies mostly as they relate to the security and privacy exchange of information among enterprises. Any of you who are, as I am, consumer advocates at heart should weigh in and say, just because policies haven't yet been developed for consumers, don't let that stop you. And particularly in the disabilities area, this is essential because we now know that there, we're going to learn more about it in the future, but people right now are being denied uh, employment and, in, and health insurance benefits uh, based on information that's getting out there electronically that they wouldn't like to get out. 